What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down one of the most common mistakes that wide receivers will make when they run a corner route, okay? So we're going to be talking about how you guys can get more separation at the top of the route using a rocker step and one of the mistakes that wide receivers make while using a rocker step. So again, hope this helps you guys out. If you guys have any kind of feedback or videos that you'd like to see next, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We always appreciate it. And again, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you want to know the exact things you need to do on a daily basis on the field to improve your route running, your press releases, your hands. Check out our eight-week wide receiver on-field workout plan. It's an eight-week schedule with the exact sets, reps, and exercises with video examples of each exercise with on-field wide receiver drills. So check out that very first link in the description below if you are interested. Let's get started with this video. So this first corner route right here, receiver does a good job taking the inside release, not forcing the outside release, but he kind of loses a lot of separation at the top with this rocker step. Because you got to think about it. When a wide receiver has outside shade coverage, a lot of times the mistake that they'll make on an outside route, like a corner or an out route, is they'll force the outside release, right? So they'll come out here, they'll try to square up the DB and take the outside release. His sole goal when he is outside leverage is what? Is to prevent the outside release. So if you try to force it, he's going to force you to that sideline, he's going to close off the field, and you're not going to have any space to run. So he honestly, off the line, this is perfect. This is textbook. This is exactly what you want to do. He comes off the line and he takes this inside release, dips the shoulder, and now he's in a perfect position to create separation. He restacked them, as we like to say. Now, we're going to show a second example of this, and it's going to be the exact same route, the exact same release, but a wide receiver who gets five yards of separation instead of getting no yards of separation. So when he decides to make this move at the top, he telegraphs it with his upper body, and that is the key mistake that guys will make. They will all, they will try to get out of the break too quick. They're too anxious to get up into the route, whether they're trying to accelerate and run under the ball, whether they're trying to get separation, they think they maybe already have it, whatever it might be. But when he decides to do this rocker step, but before that inside foot gets down in the grass, before he plants with the inside foot to sell the post, his body is already starting to turn. When that foot hits the ground, your hips and your shoulders better be selling this thing because that's what's going to get that DB to bite. I'm not trying to get you ready for a DB who's going to be watching your head and shoulders because when he's watching your head and shoulders, that should be easy work. A disciplined DB who is going to be looking at your hips is going to be able to tele see when you're telegraphing a route. When your hips and your shoulders are already turning out of this break before that foot gets down, that's easy work. So make sure, fellas, if you're in a position where you restack a DB, you got to commit with that upper half to the cut. No different than if you're running a corner route and let's say instead of press, it's like off. Let's say you're out of the slot. Let's say you got maybe a too high safety look and you got that safety right in front of you. And then maybe it's like a smash concept. The smash concept is where the outside wide receiver is running like a hitch or maybe a whip route. And the slot is running that corner. And you got that free safety over the top. When you do that at the top of the break and you're trying to use a rocker step and you do the same thing, you're going to get locked up because you're telegraphing the break against a disciplined DB. So let's play this thing full speed. And then we'll show a good example of the exact same release and the exact same route. Okay. So now this is the good example. Same split release, inside release, but look at how he sells this break. That's what gets you separation is actually committing that upper body to it. So we look at the break point. He does the exact same thing from top to bottom. Does the split release. We have outside shade coverage. He takes the inside release. He dips the shoulder. Perfect position to get open. Now we just have to finish the rep. So what we did, we saw in the last clip is when they did that rocker step, when he planted, it was not this. When that foot was getting down, those hips and those shoulders were already facing towards that corner, giving away where he was going. You have to commit, fellas. Everything about this has to look like a post. So the hips and the shoulders go with the step. That's where that DB is going to be watching. That's what's going to get him to bite. And I could create easy separation on this. You got to make sure we finish the route, fellas. Again, I talk about this all the time. A lot of people think that press releases is how you get open. And in some respects it is, but off the line, that's all about keeping timing and keeping spacing. Your separation comes at the top of the route. So you got to finish the rep. When you make that one, two, that body has to go with the one, two, you got to commit the hips and shoulders. And that's what will get that DB to bite every time. Let's play this thing again, full speed one more time. Great job. Not forcing the outside release, restacking and committing to the move on that rocker step to create easy separation downfield. All right, fellas, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If uh, you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We uh, always appreciate the feedback. It's always great to hear from you guys as usual. And again, fellas, if you'd like an eight week wide receiver on field workout plan, everything wide receivers need to do drill wise for route running, press releases, and to improve their hands slash explosiveness, check out that very first link in the description below. We'd love to get you on that program. I'll see you guys next time.